Hi, welcome to Get A Brew. So today I just want to briefly talk about some products that we have that are useful for creating sour beers. So seasons are changing and hopefully we're going to have a good spring and enjoyable summer. And there's nothing works better on a hot sunny day than a sour beer. So we have some products that we want to highlight to you. So Lalamont have been very innovative in relation to sour beer production and they've produced some freeze dried bacteria. So we've got two options, the original um, wild brew sour pitch, um, which it's, it's a kettle sour product. And then it was followed up with the Helvetica strain, which again is a kettle sour product. So the idea was that you could use these products to blend and create your own unique level of sourness. There is an interesting co-fermentation that you could carry out with the freeze drag bacteria. And Voss, we did this ourselves in some experimental brews. Voss is a Quebec yeast, which is fermentable at really high temperatures. So the freeze drag bacteria works perfectly well at 38 degrees. So one thing that we tried was we took a co-fermentation, we added the bacteria to the fermenter with the Voss yeast and fermented it at 38 degrees. Now both of these uh, sour pitch freeze dried bacteria aren't very tolerant to IBUs in, in the sense of hops. So if you're adding more than five IBUs of hops after fermentation is complete that you could be confident that that will kill the bacteria and prevent any risk of cross contamination with other beers. If you're not wanting to use the kettle souring process, another innovative new product that they've brought out is the Philly Sour. So it's a lactic producing yeast, which will sour during fermentation. So, so for those of you that aren't familiar with a kettle souring process, what you're wanting to do is create your wort in the kettle, drop that temperature down using your chiller to um, 38 degrees is, is the temperature that I've used in the last few batches that I've done and I've added the bacteria. Um, so you, you might want to pre-adjust the pH to bring it within that tolerance level and then um, add the bacteria and what will happen there at that stage is these products sour the wort and drop the pH really quickly within 24 hours. So if you add to your kettle, put the bacteria and come back the following day, check that the pH has hit the target that you want then what you do is you bring it to a rolling boil, that kills the bacteria and you send it to your fermentation vessel and ferment with a yeast as you normally would. Now you can do some really unusual um, co-fermentations or use some really unusual yeast to create some unique flavors after the sarn process has taken place. So in relation to dosage rates, one 250 gram packet will cover 25 hectoliters and one 10 gram packet will cover a hectolitre. So if you need to add a mixture of homebrew sachets or commercial sachets, vice versa, and um, there's no issue with that. These are all available on the website now. We have these products available in bulk. We have them on stock. We're ready to express ship them to you in your brewery now. And for the homebrew community that work with us, we have them in homebrew sachets for both the freeze dried bacteria and the um, Philly Sour lactic producing yeast. Thanks so much. Until next time, happy brewing.